Hello, I'm Dr. John Abendanza. Vision therapy is a series of activities that are designed to improve the function of the visual system. We start with activities that are easy to do and gradually build as skills develop. This is the way that we learn things naturally when we were kids. You had to learn to crawl before you could walk, and you learn how to walk before you could run. Each new thing that you learn becomes a building block upon which you can learn other new skills. In vision therapy, we want the activities to be just challenging enough to keep our patients, whether child or adult, interested and motivated, and at the same time not too difficult so that they become frustrated. The goal is to do each activity at about the 80 to 90 percent success level. With any activity or exercise, if the patient is 100 percent successful, then they're showing you that they already know how to do this, whatever the skill is. They are practicing what they already know instead of learning something new. But if the failure rate gets up too high, then they get frustrated because they see it as too difficult for them. So just like with Goldilocks and her porridge, it should neither be too hot nor too cold, neither too easy nor too difficult. With each new skill that's developed, the goal is to get that skill to the level where you can do it without even thinking about it. In other words, we try to make it automatic. If you can do it automatically, then any time you need that skill during the day, you pull it out of your back pocket and you use it because you can do it without thinking about it. That's what reinforces the skill so that you don't need to keep doing vision therapy forever. Most of the changes that we see in vision therapy are due to changes in the brain. For example, it's the brain that controls how the eyes move and the accuracy and precision of those eye movements. The same thing with the focusing of the eyes. There is a muscle inside of the eye that's attached to the lens. When the muscle contracts, it changes the shape of the lens and your eye is focused for near. When the muscle relaxes, it pulls on the lens and flattens the lens out so you are in focus for far away. Here again, the control of that focusing and refocusing occurs in the brain. So even though we are working on the visual system, most of the changes that we see take place inside of the brain. As scientists study the brain and how it works, we realize more and more what a dynamic organ it really is. The brain is constantly changing and adapting itself to new environments, especially when we are involved in concentrated mental effort, such as vision therapy. In other words, we never stop learning and changes can be made at any age. For more information on vision therapy, you can go to our website at greatvisioncare.com. To find a behavioral optometrist in your area, you can go to the Find an Optometrist section at oepf.org or covd.org. Thank you.